Hi there and welcome back to day 12 of Vidvember. It's Saturday day, uh, it's the weekend. Obviously family time as well just now and I'm trying to obviously get these videos in as well. So no excuse. Anyway, cracking on. We're talking today about seven tools that you can use if you're new in business or you're in existing business that you can use to grow your business, your audience and even take payments online. So increase revenue if you don't take online payments. Okay, first tool we're starting with is WordPress, the famous WordPress that is out there. It is a great tool for everything. It's a platform tool, so it's your place where you'll be your base online where you can promote yourself. Um, I use WordPress for another reason. I'm going to cover that in a second, but it's definitely a tool you should have in your inbox or in your toolbox, sorry. Um, so when I talk about platform, I mean the place where you're going to promote yourself, where people can find about you, find about everything you're up to, what you do, who you are, how to contact you. So a platform tool for me is actually Squarespace. Now, a lot of people will be using WordPress as their blogging platform, which is absolutely fine. I've just changed to Squarespace for my blogging platform. Um, I'm going to cover that in another um, video or even a blog post. But I use Squarespace as my platform, okay? You could use YouTube if you're a vlogger, that's fine. YouTube is your platform. So remember, whatever your platform is, this is where you're going to be trying to generate leads, maybe even promote yourself or educate people and help people from your platform. So that's what you do on your platform. Squarespace is mine. Next tool, number three, active campaign. So this is a tool which you use to collect our email addresses in from people and then we email them out, tell them new stuff that we've got to share with them. So that's active campaign and email list service. Um, you might use Aweber, that's another one. I use Aweber as well. If I was just starting out right now, I would go with active campaign, 500 leads, I think for $9, okay? So great platform. Um, next tool in the box that I use is Optimize Press. So Optimize Press works with WordPress. You can see now why I use WordPress. It's for my landing page software. So what I do is I build landing pages with Optimize Press. I connect those landing pages to my email list service like Active Campaign or Aweber. And my landing pages are hosted on my WordPress site. So that's why I use uh, WordPress. It's like more of the tool. Now a lot of you will use WordPress as your platform and you won't even need Squarespace or something like that. So that's why I use it. That's the tool I have in my box. Now any business, most people starting out, um, it depends in internet marketing world, most people start out by using WordPress. In the business, small business world, you might be having a site built on WordPress or built on Squarespace um, or another, you might have a shop, so you might not have either of those. But at some point you're going to need to be collecting email addresses, so you want to have something like Active Campaign and some of the other ones I'm about to mention. The next one is MailMunch. So MailMunch is another type of list building tool it allows me to create pop-up forms and forms on my Squarespace site. So because I don't use WordPress, I use MailMunch. It also works on any other, I can embed forms on any other site and buttons as well. So it doesn't matter what I use that I'm kind of left. I can use that on its own to collect names and email addresses, okay? So that's what I use with that. I put MailMunch, put forms on my Squarespace site. And from my Squarespace site, if people are reading my blog, I'd send them to my landing pages in Optimize Press. And so these all kind of work together, you see. Um, the next thing you want to be doing in your business, if you're not, is video. Now, the two platforms I recommend, or the number six tool, is Wistia. Uh, Wistia gives you some really in-depth analytical data. It's amazing what it can give you. It's far more powerful um, video platform than YouTube is. But one thing that it actually does is um, it's a paid-for service. You have to pay for it, but it gives you data and it gives you turnstiles, which means you can pop up something, people put their name and email in. Um, so it's got loads of other cool little features to it. Now, if you find Wistia is quite expensive for you, it does run at about 99 bucks a month, it starts out, I think. Um, if that's too expensive, and it's got some limits on how many videos, you want to get Vimeo Pro, I didn't put Pro there. Vimeo Pro is like about $178 for the year, and you can embed videos on private protected sites. You cannot do that on the basic version of Vimeo. Do not do that on the basic version of Vimeo. They'll shut your um, count down. You get the paid pro account and then you can host protected videos. Um, Wistia, again, that does the same, so you can host protected videos on protected pages. So the point is, if you're creating some kind of video content that people have paid for, you don't want to be using YouTube. YouTube is great for free stuff and promotion, but you can't put it onto protected sites because people can share that content. Um, so it's great for everything else, but if, you just wanna, if you've got an online course or something, you want to be having your videos embedded um, through another video platform. There's loads of others as well, so you can obviously find out. These are just the ones I use. And for taking payments, the last one is GetDPD. You do want to have a Stripe account, that could be number eight. 
tool, but Stripe account allows you to take payments online. It works with hundreds and hundreds of different shopping carts, services, subscription services, and all that kind of stuff. Get DPD, Get Digital Product Delivery, I think it is, allows you to sell digital products and physical products. Basically, allows you to take payments online. It costs nine bucks a month for like 20 products or something. It's, you know, the, the cost of that doesn't come into it. The point is that you can take, when you connect that to Stripe, you can take a payment online for anything in a matter of minutes. Stripe takes two minutes to set up, get DPD and putting in your product can be done in 10 minutes. You can pretty much be taking payments online. The people say they can't take payments online, that's an excuse, get DPD, okay? It's so easy right now to, wherever you are in your business or wherever your business is, it's quite easy to set up some kind of lead capture using Active Campaign, and then even to take payments if later on you want to take payments for services that you're selling, consulting, whatever it is. Make it easy for people to pay you if they want your services. Don't make them jump through hoops. So, seven tools that I use. I go into more depth in a report on my site. You can get it. It's my toolbox. Go to my blog. You can download this in more detail. It's a PDF toolbox guide. And I cover some other shopping carts you can use that work with Stripe as well. But these are the seven tools right now that I use in my business and that you could use if you're starting out. You want to grow your audience and maybe even take payments online. So, check them out. Thanks for watching day 12 and I'll be back soon with another video.